Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. We continue with our discussion on chlorine and its compounds. So today I would like us to discuss chemical properties of chlorine gas. <coughs> Um, the first chemical property of chlorine gas is in its reaction with water. Uh, when we are discussing the physical properties, uh, we realize that uh, chlorine is fairly soluble in water. And in that case, there is a reaction that takes place. And this reaction uh, leads to formation of two acids. One is hydrochloric acid, and the other one is hypochlorous acid. Hypochlorous acid is also known as chloric one acid. So that is why we said that chlorine is an acidic gas. So first of all, uh, we can say that chlorine dissolves in water to form chlorine water to form chlorine water which is green yellow so chlorine water just takes the color of chlorine we can further say that chlorine water contains hydrochloric acid and hypochlorous acid. Hypochlorous acid is what we are calling chloric one acid. So we can use the word hypochlorous acid or chloric one acid. And this is what happens. So we are saying that the moment chlorine, which is a gas, uh, dissolves in water, We form HCl, which is hydrochloric acid, and HOCl, which is hypochlorous acid. Then, uh, hypochlorous acid is a very unstable acid, and it decomposes. It decomposes to lose the oxygen atom. And it also changes to hydrochloric acid. So, <clears throat> so in this case, uh, the hypochlorous acid. Once it is exposed to light, it decomposes to form hydrochloric acid plus oxygen. So there is oxygen gas that is released there. And the reason why there is oxygen gas released is because there is what we call the nascent oxygen. There is a nascent oxygen atom in hypochlorous acid. So the hypochlorous acid is green yellow and that's what gives the chlorine water the same color but once it has lost the oxygen uh, the hydrochloric acid that is formed is colorless so you can have a diagram to illustrate this <coughs>
So the diagram shows the decomposition of chlorine water. So chlorine water is a combination of hydrochloric acid and hypochlorous acid. So the hypochlorous acid, once it is exposed to light, it decomposes to form hydrochloric acid and oxygen is released. Uh, the same case would happen, or the same decomposition would happen if chlorine water was heated. If chlorine water was heated, the same decomposition would take place and an oxygen atom would be lost, uh, making the color change from green-yellow to colorless. A similar decomposition to the one that is happening there can also take place when uh, chlorine water is, uh, is heated. Now, uh, the other thing uh, to note about uh, chlorine water is that chlorine water is a bleaching agent. Chlorine water is a bleaching agent, and that's why when you put a blue litmus paper into chlorine water, it turns red, then white. So it turns red, an indication that there is acidity, and then white because there is a bleaching, there's a bleaching agent, and that bleaching is as a result of hypochlorous acid. So in this, we can say that uh, chlorine water turns a blue litmus paper red, and then white, indicating that it is also a bleaching agent. It's also a bleaching agent. So in this case, we have uh, the hypochlorous acid. Once it combines with the dye, the dye of uh, the litmus paper, the hypochlorous acid uh, decomposes to lose this oxygen atom, what you are calling the nascent oxygen. That oxygen uh, reacts with the dye to form a colorless material. So we can say that uh, chlorine bleaches by oxidizing the dye. It bleaches by oxidation. So we form HCl uh, plus a colorless material. So the colorless material is as a result of the dye plus the oxygen. So the dye plus the oxygen form a colorless material. And you can see that uh, chlorine bleaches by oxidation. That is by donating nascent oxygen by donating the active oxygen that is being donated to the dye and then you are left with HCl which is colorless and then the dye once it combines with that oxygen it becomes colorless. So that shows the bleaching action by chlorine. An assignment So the first question, write a balanced chemical equation for A, formation of chlorine water, and then B, bleaching action of chlorine water. Question number two, 
explain what happens when chlorine water is exposed to sunlight for one day. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.